Hello friends, I am Suresh Saxena, Assistant Professor in IMS University Courses Campus, Gajabad. Today, we will discuss about instruction format. So first of all, what is the instruction? As we know earlier in our previous flips that instruction are the binary codes which instruct the computer to perform certain operation or to perform certain tasks and the group of these instruction uh, in the form of bits is called as instruction codes. Normally this instruction code is divided into two parts which is called as the basic nomenclature or instruction format which is at here. So the instruction code or instruction format is divided into basically two parts. The first part is called as op code and second part is known as address field. The first part is specifying the operation which is to be going to perform of that operand which is stored in that address basically for example if we having our memory capacity equal to 4096 words so 4096 is equivalent to 2 raised to the power 12 so the memory address we require the requirement of our memory address will be sufficient in the 2 raised to the power 12 bits. So we have to assign our address base, uh, the, our address field into 12 bits. And for example, if we are taking the instruction format of 16 bits, so 16 minus 12 equal to 4. 4 bits are 4 remaining bits are assigned to this opcode field. Opcode yeah, operation code field. Each instruction code contains of an operation code which we have discussed earlier. It is a group of bits that defined operation to perform. So a number of operation can be performed by this opcode field such as addition, shift, multiplication etc etc. To know how many operation that this particular opcode will support, we simply give the instruction as to raise to the power n. To raise to power n means for example, if this opcode having the 4 bit 12 to 15, then the operation which will be supported or will be executed by this type of opcode will be will be 16. Okay, 2 raised to the power 4. In addition to opcode, many instructions also contain one or more operands. For example, if we want to add two numbers then we require at least two operands so this address field field can be viewed in this form operand a and operand b so these all 12 bits will assign half half to each other means six bits for this operand and six bit for another operand and this opcode field has as previous four bit of four bit binary then in this example, 4-bit opcode encoded as a binary number could represent up to 2 raised to the power 4 equal to 16 different operations. Okay. To maintain or to perform these instruction code and this instruction code formation is the whole sole responsibility of the CPU. And within the CPU, the control unit take this all over responsibility on its shoulder to decoding the opcode or fetching the opcode from the memory and perform the operations within the within this ALU. After then generating the control signal necessary to drive all other hardwares it also the it is also the responsibility of control unit to generate the signals that are necessary to drive all the other hardwares in the CPU to perform the sequence of the micro operations or or perform the sequence which we have executed by these instruction codes okay so this is the basic nomenclature of any instruction code or any instruction format okay thank you